All right, welcome back. We are in the warm house because it is absolutely cold. It's like 10 degrees out or something ridiculous. Obviously, we have some cabin fever fines. We have a Ryder Erickson. A um, little bit dirty. I literally not had a chance to even touch it, wipe it down, look it over yet, really. Um, it, it looks pretty decent. Uh, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna stay the way it is. I don't know, I, I the paint on it kind of looks aged and old to me. I kind of like it with the firebox. Uh, very similar to the other one. better quality I'm not 100% sure but I'm thinking this one um, was not mass-produced it was probably a once one time made type of thing I gotta figure out a, I was hoping to find a cooling tank or something for this one uh, as you can see, it has a barrel similar to the my other one, but unfortunately, it just has some rubber hoses going to it, and I I don't care for that at all. So that is definitely not going to work. Um, the only other thing I thought about doing was actually just trying to put brass piping on everything, but. I'm not really sure. I'm not really, I definitely don't want to use this barrel. And I want to make something kind of quick and easy to get on and off. So I'm, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I'm going to wipe it down, clean it up, go over it, pick you guys back up. We'll do a video of it and see, see if it actually runs. It should run. Uh, the other thing we picked up, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, was this little guy. And he is, he, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure he's old. He feels old, meaning he, um, not being oiled. We'll make sure, I'll take this this thing outside and make sure that this uh, burner is not going to leak or anything crazy is going to happen with it. And we'll do a video on that. This was one of the, uh, I don't know, one of the specials at the show. Uh, it was a PM Research Model 3 steam engine. Um, obviously... It is a uh, kit, but it was pretty well discounted out at the show, and you buy some other stuff. So we'll see. We'll see how this. We'll build this one day. It doesn't look too bad. Hopefully, it'll be pretty cool. <clears throat> fan obviously the fan we got so far has been pretty fun I have not finished cleaning it up I still need to kind of touch up the brass and wax the fan guard support arms whatever they're called uh, but I have gone through kind of oiled it adjusted it a little bit I happy with it. Well. Pick him up. Now I'm not sure where the motor is sitting, whether it's all the way up or all the way down, but typically, depending where it's sitting, once it warms up, 
will actually move on its own a little bit. And that is usually when it's ready to go. It honestly doesn't take too long. there yeah it's um you know it's, it's in pretty good shape there's a slight wobble on that front fan blade that I've not been able to um get that to totally go away But it is a pretty good runner. You know, it is literally, you can see that piston down in there. And the piston is working on this, this front rod. If you can see that front rod going down, that's hooked to the piston. Now this rod over here through the center is, is at the displacer. And, I mean, it is just literally a running engine. No different no different than when we come over here to this one. Uh, we look at the Ryder Erickson, and this rod right here is our displacer. And this rod right here is controlling the power piston, the one you see up on the top. So, it's just a piston and a displacer in there. You can see how this one works. Um, obviously that one has two long rods coming up off of it, but, you know, the crankshaft itself is what we're looking at up top here. Unfortunately, it's about the size of a, I don't know, about the size of a big old coat hanger. So, it's, it's kind of neat. Uh, I'll try and put up some pictures of when I had it apart. Honestly... The bottom of this base right here is exactly like the bottom of the Ryder Erickson when I had it apart without the firebox hooked to it and all. Very similar. You know, um, this one, pretty good shape, pretty nice original. But I haven't, I don't, I don't know, I mean I haven't sat here and really let it run a long, long time. So, every time I kind of run it, I mess with it and make sure it's oiled up and going good, but it's not sounding too bad. It, you know, a couple guys have commented how warm they get. Let's see. It's cool to the touch. Obviously, this is where our, our heat or is going to escape the bottom of our engine. That's a little warm. Everything up here, 100% cool. As you can see, I'm just going to I'm going to let it run, lift it off, set it here, and we'll see how long see how long it'll sit there and run. It'll sit there and run until it cools down, that's for sure. We'll cap our cap off our fire there. That is it. That is it. You know, we um we do have we, we do have some stuff from PM Research to uh, fix this fix this sight glass. So that'll be a project coming up soon. Um. Other than that, I don't know. We might fire that car one day when it's miserable cold. Uh, that's a pretty cool little engine. Um, got that at Tuckahoe. That's like a tin wind-up vertical four-cylinder engine. It actually spring-loaded toy that runs. It's pretty neat. The rest of these you've all seen. Ryder Erickson's and the Chinese hit-and-miss versions and stuff like that. But anyway, we will... 
We will. Huh. That's kind of interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with this thing, and I'll pick you guys back up when we're ready to try and run it. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.